Good morning, prayer partners. Let's have a snack together. I absolutely love me and the bees, prickly pear um, drink, and uh, it's by Maya, a young lady who uses honey in her lemonade drinks. Um, I also have some grapes here from Whole Foods, um, some guacamole to eat with Tostitos, hints of lime, tortilla chips. Most tortilla chips are little less than sodium and don't have as many calories so it's a really good healthy snack and we'll get right into our bible plan this morning good morning prayer partners we continue our bible plan god hunger and i hope you enjoyed the snack you had this morning let's get into it grace up close and personal did we get into God's kingdom by virtue of our own good works or merely through Jesus? The extent to which we understand our part in the process, I believe, determines the extent to which we will extend grace and mercy both to ourselves and to those stuck in sin. The more we credit ourselves with inherent goodness, the less grace and mercy has a role to play. But the degree to which we become uninhibited receptors of God's grace is the degree to which we can and will extend grace to others. Francis said, the proclamation of the saving love of God comes before moral and religious improprieties imperatives excuse me in other words when god looks at a person he first sees someone whom he loves and wants unconditionally before he is remotely concerned with their sin through the cross of calvary god endorses loves and invites each one of his children to heaven before tripping over their sin, however vile it may be. But even this does not adequately capture Francis's deep insight. The priority of the person. This personalist with which God deals with us is one of the most radical aspects of the Christian faith. In every way that God, in every way that matters to God, human beings are completely equal and completely loved. They can't be reduced to ethical object lessons. Their dignity runs deeper than their failures. They matter more than any cause. They are the cause. Grace is empowering presence of God to do what only he can do. Grace doesn't excuse sin. It empowers righteousness. Grace is unmerited favor. Let's ask ourselves this question. How much unmerited favor can I afford to pay out today? How deep are my reserves? If we feel low on grace, we need only to return to the source and ask to be refilled. So our prayer comes from Romans chapter 3, verses 10 through 22. And if you would like to look it up in the Amplified Bible and pray it along with me, that would be awesome. Just pause the video and get a phone or a... Um, Bible and uh, look it up and we can pray this together. Amen. Let's pray. Father God, the Bible says it is written and forever remains written. There is none righteous. Hallelujah. None that meets God's standards. Not even one. There is none who understands. There is none who seeks God. 
all have turned aside. Together they have become useless. There is none who does good, no, not one. Their throat is an open grave. They hab habitually deceive with their tongues. The venom of asp is beneath their lips. Their mouth is full of cursings and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their path, and they have not known the path of peace. There is no fear of God and his awesome power before their eyes. Now we know that whatever the law of Moses says, it speaks to those who are under the law so that the excuses of every mouth may be silenced from protesting and that all the world may be held accountable to God and subject to his judgment. For no one will be justified freed of guilt and declared righteous in his sight by trying to do works of the law for through the law we become conscious of sin and the recognition of sin directs us toward repentance that provides no remedy for sin but now the righteousness of God has been clearly revealed independently and completely apart from the law though it is actually confirming confirmed by the law and the words of the writing of the prophets this righteousness of god comes through faith in jesus christ for all those jews and gentiles who believe and trust in him and acknowledge him as the son of god there is no distinction Lord, today, your grace is sufficient. Today, your favor is upon us. Something that we need to extend, and when we feel low on, we need to come to you as our source. Food is a source of energy for our bodies. Help us to treat our bodies better with what we eat. And may we have a God hunger to come to you for the grace we need each and every day because you supply those mercies every single morning. May we remember to extend it to those around us, especially those we pray for in our prayer partners, even our enemies. By the power of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, amen. Have a wonderful day, prayer partners, and as always, enjoy Jesus.